everybody. I'm Dr. Travis Perry and I'm here to give you some other tips and hints and also for this free giveaway that we've been working on um, on our Facebook page this three-day trip. Um, I've got the names here of people that qualified in a magic hat and I'll be pulling those out here in just a minute. I also have another announcement I'm gonna uh, make here at the end so you make sure you want to stick around for that. Um, there is a couple things I want to get to first and that is thank you for all the likes and follows here on the Facebook page and on YouTube um, and for supporting what we're doing. Please share that with everyone. Uh, something that I've shared recently has been a blog post that uh, Chantelle Menden has helped me out with. She's our intern here. And if you go to travisperry.com forward slash blog, you'll see there are several great blogs about time saving tips with your family, family vacations, money management, etc. And the latest that we've published here this week is uh, three reasons why you want to spend uh, money time with your family. And just real quick, I'll highlight those. Um, the first main reason that you want to do that is you want to help your own children create a positive money history. We've talked about it in other blogs. Money history is really important uh, for your child's money future as they grow and develop. So you want to make sure that you're teaching them correct money principles. Two, they'll be wise consumers. Uh, I taught a lot of students who family financial courses that really didn't know how to balance a budget, know what a checkbook was, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and it's just, it's amazing how people really allow themselves to send their children out into the world not being money smart or prepared. And number three, there is a great deal of connection and time and quite frankly, families can spend that time together as they're teaching how to be money smart and how to spend this time together. It'll help them and encourage them have a better um, sense of uh, relationship with each other. So those are the three tips. You can get that at Travis Perry with an A dot com forward slash blog. There's other great blog posts to check out there. Now uh, for the winners. Now this week I've asked I've asked you to post pictures of your vacations and it was great to see some of you in places where I've been, uh, Yellowstone, Bear Lake, etc. We just came off of a two-week vacation to Bear Lake and Island Park visiting with family and friends and it really is just incredible to get out there, smell the fresh air, be away from the work, the grind. And there's some, I have another blog uh, on, on our blog site there, Travis Perry uh, forward slash blog, where you can um, read about the positive uh, benefits of taking vacations, uh, family vacations, and also just personally, just getting out there. All right, so for those of you waiting around and wondering who's the winner of this uh, this week's draw of the three-day, two-night uh, vacation. It's on us. This is the official hat. Today's the magic hat. We've got names in here, people that qualified. I'm just going to go ahead and randomly pick. This is as random as it gets, people. Here we go. Lindsay Freeman. Lindsay Freeman, this is you. So go ahead and contact us. Um, and that's awesome. Congratulations. We will... We'll, um, send you a message if you could give us your address we'll send this back to you with detailed instructions on how to redeem this we're going to do other drawings and i've got an, another announcement here in just a second uh, that will that if you think that's great three days in the caribbean or in actually there's some places in uh, mazatlan um, even hawaii here so these are some some fantastic destinations as you can as you can tell so there's there's wonderful places that, that you can go and spend time with your family. So congratulations, Lindsay Freeman. Um, Adrian, you're asking, most of our family vacation picks involve children throwing tantrums. Any advice? You know, I'm wearing my New York shirt. We've, we've actually driven coast to coast with our family. Uh, and maybe we'll post a blog on that upcoming, um, on ways to, to keep kids entertained, um, Etc. We've taken them to DC recently back in May and it's not the most family friendly city to be honest. No offense anybody lives in DC. I love you, but it's not the most family friendly. Um, I think a lot of it is pre-planning. Explain to your children what you're doing, where you're going, how long you'll be there, 
and obviously the ones that are too little to understand, um, just kind of go with it and be patient with them. Um, we have a two-year-old all the way up to a 14-year-old, and so, you know, 14-year-old enjoys things a little bit differently than the two-year-old. Uh, one thing, to, obviously, to consider is you might consider going alone, <laughs> right, number one. Two, um, taking older kids that appreciate what you're about to experience with them. Uh, we're planning to do a trip with others that, um, you know, just taking the older kids with us without any of the younger kids, and that, that's, that tends to be a really fun activity. Uh, probably the last one, you know, the last tip I mentioned pre-planning, going alone, taking the older kids. But if you are taking young kids and there's tantrums, a lot of things can be taken care of um, in advance with uh, ideas to keep them involved in the car. Um, movies, stories. We do a lot of stories. We don't do the movies, but we do a lot of stories on the drive. We've driven 5,000 miles on one road trip. and. Uh, they, they've really come to enjoy that. But we have specific time for them. We might have stories for the little kids, stories for the older kids, or snack times at very specific times. Um, and we also do something a little unique that we discovered a while back, and that is having partners. Our older kids can partner with the younger kids. So that you're not always having to be, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. You're playing zone defense, right? So, um, so that's, 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 something, that's something to consider. Uh, yes, it does get better as they get older. Obviously, they get more mature, etc. You hope, you hope. Uh, but we found that to be helpful as partners, an older kid with the younger kid, you can allow them to spend time with them. You know, we have our 14 year old um, paired up with our um, five year old. So, you know, sometimes that, that really works. Um, but anyway, I hope those tips are helpful, and I think this would be a great blog post, Adrian, so thank you for that. We will put some more information on that um, coming shortly. Now, the announcement that I wanna make today, a uh, very special one, and I'll repost this after this goes, obviously this is live, we'll repost this on YouTube and, and back here on Facebook. There is a very specific reason that I started this Facebook page. Obviously, I have my own personal Facebook page where my friends and others can come and interact, but this business page is really for me to be able to reach out to the community to people as we share these ideas my blog ideas and others uh, other ideas out there with people especially business owners entrepreneurs and professionals i see a lot of business owners entrepreneurs who really do love their family but do not make the necessary time that they would like to be with their family uh, you probably know someone like that. It might be you, it might be your spouse. Uh, whatever the situation, I really wanna reach out more uh, to those individuals. So thank you for helping us build the page. Thank you for, for being a part of some of these uh, giveaways. I wanna introduce uh, a person that I love, that I hold dear, who's been an excellent example of a business owner, entrepreneur, but also one of the world's best family um, supporters, and that's my dad. Um, he's the family man. He always is, he always was. I remember, and I'm just gonna share one experience. I was playing soccer, I was on the Frosh Soft, we call it Frosh Soft, freshman, sophomore team, playing soccer, really enjoyed my, my time there. And I remember my dad, he would always try to show up to our soccer games. Um, he would, there was one time he was coaching three teams with four kids uh, bouncing around and it was it was crazy he spent a lot of time doing the things that we like to do well he shows up I have the ball I am close to the penalty box anybody knows soccer you know if you're outside the penalty box you're not really wanting to take a shot from there I'm not the world's greatest shooter I was a halfback and so I thought to myself my dad just showed up to the game I was wondering where he was at he's usually at all games he showed up and I could see him behind the goalpost I thought if I could fake out this guy and this guy, I could possibly shoot it from here. Who knows if it'll go in? Well, we were playing on a football field. It's kind of a rounded field. And so I, I actually did. I faked out one guy, faked out another. I don't know what happened. I just had some adrenaline and just, you know, made, made the moves and shot it probably about 18 yards out. Not too far, but enough that I thought, okay, this is a decent shot. It just happened to hit the right bounce, bounce over the goalie into the net and I was screaming at all I was yeah it's awesome I really just wanted my dad to see 
Now, what was funny about all that is after the end of the game, I said, I got up to, you know, dad and said, dad, thanks for being here. And he just gave me a hug. He said, hey, you played great kid. And he said, did you see my goal? He said, goal? <laughs> what goal? I thought, oh no, here I am. I spent all this time. I wanted to impress him. And there it was, my goal. He, he apparently was trying to find my mom in the stands to go sit down and watch the game. Didn't even see me. He was right there by the goal. But the point is, he was there at most games in his work outfit, most of the time in his plumbing van. He was a, uh, an entrepreneur, started his own business with he and his father and brothers, successful plumbing business that to this day is still serving the people of Southern California. What an awesome person. And here's a picture of him right here. One of my favorite pictures of him on a family vacation, taking time off to be with us. That's how I'll remember dad. With that, I'd like to make a new announcement. For those that are following and watching this later, wonderful. Um, we're gonna call it the Greg Award. My middle name is Greg, so I think this is, uh, I've been thinking about this for a very long time. Um, with my mom's permission, so I've talked with her over the family reunion, I'd like to introduce the Greg Award. What the Greg Award is, is this is trying to, um, uh, and sorry if you're, if you're not able to see this, if the connection's poor, I'll repost this. Um, but, but what I'd like to do for the Greg Award is find someone who is a entrepreneur or business owner that is spending time with family. I want you to locate that person and share this um, award idea details with them. I'm going to... Uh, find someone, maybe it's once a week, maybe it's once a month, just kind of depending on how, how much traction this gets, but we're going to give them a seven day vacation on us. Okay. Obviously we've got the three day deal, which is wonderful, but for your part in this, for helping me find those people that deserve the Greg award, an entrepreneur, business owner, professional who's spending time, he's being the dad, he's being the husband that he should be. In, in your part, if I select that person because you've nominated them, then I will send you on a three-day vacation. Listen, I've got a lot of these. These are fantastic. They're fun. They've cost me a lot of money, and I want to give these away. But I want to give them away for the right cause. So from here on out, the Greg Award, with, I'll post some more details on this, on how you nominate um, here, here in the Facebook uh, page and also even on YouTube. But they will get a seven day, I believe it's a seven day, or it's eight day, seven night hotel accommodation um, at a resort. Okay, and you can see some of the places around the country. These are legit um, locations, Northwestern, Southwestern. There's even Pacific Coast, California, the Caribbean, Asia, Europe. Um, there's, some, there's some excellent locations here. So why I'm doing this? Well, I want to, again, find the people that are, that are and, and uh, make an award out of those people who are doing it. That like my dad, Greg Perry, he was making it happen. The reason why all of his kids love him and look up to him is because he spent time. So if you know someone who needs to be like this, tag them. If you know someone who already is, nominate them and give us a reason why. And we will pick someone probably once a week, uh, once a month, depending on, on again, on, on traffic here. And then if you nominated that person, then we will send you the three-day vacation. It's all up to you. Thanks for your help, for your support of our page, of this effort to help people to be involved in their family and make time. If you are an entrepreneur who really wants to spend more time with your family, reach out to us, travisperrywithan8.com. And there is a, a tab on there that says Make Time. It's the Make Time Training. So click on that. You can find out how you can be involved. If you want to learn how to be more productive at work and spend more time with your family, we're here to help. Again, you nominate by tagging that person or writing their name in underneath in this Facebook page and selecting the reason why they deserve a, a eight-day, seven-night vacation because they're being... Um, such an outstanding um, father, husband, 
and that they really are um, you know a business owner and they're, they're trying to deal with all everything as a business owner is but spending the time with their family please nominate them I'll give more details here in plain English once this is over thanks for for being here thanks for liking this and sharing this with others have a wonderful day and remember live life on purpose